it's time for some Majora. Majora Mask hype. No, I was thinking of Legend of Zelda hype, but that worked too, whatever. <laughs> what am I even saying? That was the stupidest intro ever, but God, I just went out with Majora Mask even though I was thinking of Legend of Zelda, even though like that uh, that also need to be hype. But regardless, what's up homies and homies? It's Ultimate Collate in the house and at the first 30 minutes. 30 seconds of this video where you'll just gotten three extra points. Just that's it. And this is Mary Pie 4 with the Princess Daisy run and stuff. Because you know, unstable weapons and stuff. I don't know why I keep on pressing that on every video. But on the last video, we the first half of Boo's Haunted Bash's party. Let's end it for the first one. By starting out getting the starting way since we're like one flipping space away and I forgot to use my mini mushroom because I'm dirt! Because I forgot about the minigame. Can I do my turn over, please? Well, shite. Uh, I actually did forgot about the freaking minigame and stuff. I can't take my turn back now. I was like, oh yeah, let me just start out this intro all the, the funniest I can be. And totally forgot about that minigame. That mini play with me, Daisy. And I got the freaking mini mushroom to do it. And I was like one space away from the star. But totally derped out on it. Screw everything. Just screw my balls. Well, don't do that and stuff, but... Going that way is a bad idea. I'm just gonna go down. I'm even thinking about it. I'm using the magic lamp, man. Yeah. So yeah, just another video game vlog and stuff. Nothing else. I mean, it's not really all, like... I actually do have, like, important stuff to talk about, speaking of that intro and stuff, it, you know, it, it still doesn't matter, John, because, well, well, it does matter now, because you can now go to the boo house instead of me. Dang it! Why do you all, why are you so smart and have a freaking brain, Proton John, and AK Waluigi? Also, I thought that was literally, like, the music of, like, Boo's Haunted, like, of, like, the Haunted Ghost music of, or Boo's Haunted Bash and stuff, but I just realized it was, like, my baby sister's loud computer that probably everybody else is hearing, and I thought that was literally part of the music of this. I thought it was literally going insane. Oh, never mind. Totally closing the door for a sec. And dang it, screw freaking Proton John for blowing off, like, enough money for me to literally get the star by winning the minigame instead of being all lazy with it. I oh, still my money like that. Freaking hell. And as much as, you know, it's not been all that active, like, today and stuff, um, well, from Sunday to Wednesday and stuff, I do have a couple of bounce stuff. And speaking of the intro and stuff, like, I've been, like, for, like, starting at Sunday and stuff, I've been, you know... Also, this is photo finish, by the way, focus on the picture so that you remember which way the pieces face. This is advice, by the way, this is not a video. Please finish this pu this photo puzzle. You can only drop a piece, and it's probably the place, so you know when you find the correct spot. I sometimes win and lose this minigame, but overall it's a-okay. I kind of even like this minigame because, you know, how this minigame uses, like, a piece of the GameCube's cool power and stuff. AK, yes, these are the controls, and the advice I already read. Now, so I need to focus on this minigame. I really want that center star with my magic lamp. I'm not gonna let Proton John screw me over. Also, uh, I did remember it! Shoot me! Shoot me! Oh, no. oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dude! 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 They're already on a second damn piece! Even though you can literally rip off of them. Shoot. Oh no! No! Dude! <laughs> God dang it, a John even win the mini game, but now he's going inside the picture, which the game. Well, it looks like have to do that. The one thing I was impressed about this mini game is that even with all the pieces broken and stuff, and even going upside down and left and right and stuff, that because of the GameCube's advanced power, it like. You, like, the, like, the, like, pretty much the image is, like, still moving, even though it's, like, all broken up in pieces and stuff, and it's, like, upside down, left and right and stuff. I think that, I thought that was really cool of what they done with that minigame when I first, you know, played on Party 4 when I was, like, a younger homie and stuff. I thought that was very interesting. But speaking of hype and stuff, like, 
once again from Sunday to Wednesday, I started to like try to like ultimate hype up Legend of Zelda DLC pack for MK8 that's about to come out and stuff, like the first DLC pack. And the way I did it and stuff is I literally marathon slash catch up to all of like Nintendo Capri Son and Masaya Nella's like like Ocarina of Time Let's Plays and stuff, which when it comes to Nintendo Capri Son, it took me like 20 videos to catch up from them from now and stuff. Well, not 20, like 25 maybe. So I watched the five of the videos and stuff. I kind of, I think I stopped at episode seven stuff, and then like you know start to hype it up like from there and stuff all, all the way up to episode, or not episode part 38 and stuff. So I watched like 31 videos from him and stuff. Like so I mean the only good thing about like Pros of John warping me back here is that I can either like turn over the happening space or I can try to get an item. I wouldn't do a good job though. Uh, I'm gonna chance it. I am so gonna chance it. I literally gotta thank John for that and stuff, but I don't wanna do this. I'm just hoping for one. Uh, three! Really? Three? You better, better get your money, please, cause I'm on to the next one, on to the next one, okay, fine. You already made that reference from Super Mario Galaxy 2, yo. Shut up. Shut up. But yes, to continue my story and stuff, I did, like, hype up, like, you know, the first DLC pack, aka the Legend of, Legend of Zelda DLC pack for MK8, aka Mario Kart 8, or Rosalina Kart 8, whatever you call it and stuff, I just, you know, watching, like, all of his arts and stuff, like, all... Like the rest of the 30 something, 31, part 21. They're all good and stuff. I, like, I, or, like, to be honest with you, I never played, like, okay, to be straight with you, once again, and I think I said this in a past video of mine throughout my entire career, but, except for Four Swords Adventures and demos of both. Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, and I think the HD of Waker. I never played like a legit Zelda game. Like Legend, like I never played Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword. You can even name it. I never played any Legend of Zelda game besides Four Swords and like you know demos from Wind Waker, HD, and like um and A Link Between Worlds. So my experience is kind of stupid. But I mean, like, I did watch Let's Plays of, like, Link's Awakening from Chuck Conway, um, A Link Between Worlds from Josh Jepsen, by the way, also, and that's just it. I never watched any other, like, legit Legend of Zelda games, like, even the 3D ones, like, you know, Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time, until, like, you know, Luke Jin and Nintendo Capri Son and Masaya Nella. And then, like, there's, I'm trying to work on with Majora's Mask, because of because of Steven plays in Attack on Titan and stuff, so I'm, I'm, I, I never played a Legend of Zelda game once again, except for Four Swords and a little bit of Link's, well, not Link, Link Between Worlds and, um, Wind Waker, also, by the way, I'm just literally just wrecking up with this trace first, just stop the minigame already and stop talking about your freaking stuff, Clayton, what's wrong with you? This is a battle minigame, so you're just, just making the viewers, like, about to kill you and stuff, saying, Get on with the damn minigame! Well, yeah, I'm getting it on all right. They can scream royally, royalty, royally, since you know, Prince is busy. Uh, uh, I screwed this minigame up. I, I'm, I'm about to lose more money. I'm about to lose more money. This is BS! And they're not even nice to you against the AI. I say that I got second place with John, but still, still, it's so stupid. God dang it. Also, I made a minus two coin profit. Way to go, John, for tying up with me, you dick. Uh, sorry for the language. Just, uh, I don't really want that stories in a magic lamp. But I mean, like, you know, it's, I mean, it's good to watch, like, Let's Plays of, like, you know, video games of a series that you're not familiar with. Especially of a major series and stuff that you're not familiar, familiar with, like, you know, Majora's Mask, since I never... Not, not Majora's Mask, Legend of Zelda. But I mean, like, 
hyping that game up a little, even though I don't see myself playing a Legend of Zelda game in the future until like you know 2015 and stuff. Also, I just get on with the mini games, Clay Ultimate Clayton, because you're really just losing the audience with your freaking story that you never played a Legend of Zelda game. Now you're just hyping it up for the DLC pack and just Majora's Mask. Even though this is Dungeon Duels, I'm gonna screw up because of the freaking LR. And, like, my life. My freaking life with Mario Party 4 right now. Gosh. At least I'm just trying to have hope with this mini game. I'm doing my best. I'm not gonna try. So, like, really, you? <laughs> also, you waited so long not to do this. We're screwed. We're screwed. We're sleeping with Pit and being here with freaking butt. <laughs> God, they're already there. Yep, they won this. Unless I literally come out on top. Or if they act stupid and don't realize the other pipe, they now realize it. Shoot. Also, why did the noise matter? Uh, this one. Wario, please! Damn! Why did I win that? No! Yeah, they won this. Also, the. Wow, my movement. They literally just gave them a win. Dang it, I miss Wario saying, do I miss when he literally gets pissed and lose. Screw Peach at him. Well, no. I shouldn't screw that and stuff. You know, while I... God, of course they give me a mini game. I'll never use my... I'll never use my magic lamp, am I? I'll never use it. it it's, it's, it's literally scaring me that I can't use my magic lamp because I can't get enough money. It's so ridiculous. God. I mean, you can actually just bust out a strategy to literally, like, use the magic lamp on the star, but don't, like, get the star and stuff. Like, you can, like, literally position yourself to get something else more decent and stuff. I mean, I know, like, a few people who actually know. I, I kind of know where people actually do that. Like, they literally use magic lamp to the star and say, they don't have enough money, or they just don't want to go to the star, and literally, um... And I mean, like, they try to do something else that's even more better to their change, and, you know... But I'm not gonna do- I'm not one of those people, I'm not gonna do that. And you should at least give me a higher role to, you know, steal some money, game! God. So, um, like, when it comes to this being, like, from Sunday to even Tuesday, actually, because I'm recording this on Tuesday... Oh, no, Tuesday! Speaking of which, I really want to punch Chris Brown. Please, the rise and rise of my ass. I don't know what I am so sorry for the language of saying the rise of the rise of my ass. The rise of the my of the rise of my. Oh my gosh, this is like coming out as a Chris Brown this and stuff, but like there's actually a remix of like you know Tuesday. Because the original Tuesday is like with I Love Oron featuring Drake. Now there's a remix of Chris Brown and Trey Songs and stuff, which, um, and Trey Songs been ill, been ill and stuff. He's a bit ill. And by a bit ill, I mean, he's good. But I mean, Chris Brown! I'm starting to hate the dude. I mean, ugh. Like, I mean,. Like, the way he remixed Tuesday just really want girls to just hurt him right now. I know that every girl, and I'm, I'm gonna lose this because of my damn position, Daisy, 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 Daisy. Damn, that one ball was stuck there. Come on! God, can I win a damn mini game and use my damn flipping magic lamp? <laughs> oh my God, Proton John is about to snatch my freaking mini game star like a dick. Ah.
freaking hell and sorry about being extra loud but god it's so annoying already had the last five turns and like a ticket drawing and everybody but johnny even got this freaking video kit that's the that two of pub and myself and no one wins so who gives an f who gives an f f your feelings f your feelings you know i'm not real just kidding But like, I literally want to punch freaking Chris Brown in the face for literally remixing Tuesday with... Uh, it's, I mean, it I mean, it both rocks and sucks, but I, I, I think it just really rocks and... That, that, the pay for you. Oh, that can be painful. That can actually be painful. I am, li like, when it comes to red spaces turning into fortune spaces now, also hang in there, flesh puppets, if you're in that in bad. I'm actually now scared because now there's more fortune spaces because you know turn into the red one and stuff and Mario's gonna do something. Oh boy. Oh please I'm gonna be like one of those come behind dick victories and stuff. Then again I am playing as Princess Daisy so I am a bit scared. I'm not scared of you know Daisy and stuff because she's not I'm scared of like this fishing and you know just calling her. <laughs> Forget it! Oh my god! Oh please don't- Oh, he's gonna steal my money! He is gonna steal my money. I'm not even gonna have enough money to steal someone else's. Oh, thank god that the AI is nice. A bit. Cause, if you were playing Mare Parties 1 to 3 with this AI, they would probably steal your money even though you have, like, 4 coins. They're just that evil. But, like, once again, people in, like, this game and like layer mare party games, the AI start to get a little stupid, even though I'm like the maximum difficulty of hard or very hard. It's a bit forgiving, and I usually do it. Alright, so we got five. So, with, like, you know, Monday being like the only school day that I ever had and stuff, um, yeah, this one chick that I think I talked about, um, last video, I mean, we were friends and stuff, like, even though we were friends and stuff, like, I technically got broken up by her, so even, even though we're like friends and stuff, and it wasn't meant to be. And I mean, like, yesterday I felt like a little down and stuff, because, like, I don't know, I just have so much failures at school like, all at once, and it's just drawing me down, it's making me all sad to be stuck in this shopping at the ball and hear that remix of, John, I'm gonna freaking punch you! I'm gonna scream and shout at your eye! Oh, he's gonna steal from me. Dang it! Ah! No, no, no! I was actually concentrating there and he stole 20. <laughs> Screw you too, John! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Like, everybody is literally trying to their best to stop me from doing my la magic lamp, whereas Luigi just goes straight for the freaking star. Freaking triple T, my freaking A. Especially as a princess and stuff, and as Daisy. Not busting out any of such a way intended since I said triple team and as, you know, Princess Daisy and stuff. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Oh, shoot. This can go down very stupid. This can literally go down very stupid and stuff because of everything now. I mean, dude, dude, I was doing so good in the first half. Can you please let me just rock the second half? Gosh, if I would have actually used my mini mush during, like, you know, the very first turn of this video and stuff, then I would have kind of, you know, been all tripping and stuff, because I would have gotten an item instead of being stuck with this magic plant. Oh, god damn. Please be this- No! An avalanche! Oh! Okay, now, avalanche... I see myself winning sometimes. Avalanche is actually one of my favorite mini games of Mario Party 4 and stuff. It's actually quite awesome and stuff. But, God, I keep on. Also, I don't know if it's a glitch or not, because I thought, like, 
Okay, so I like I can't remember. Well, never mind. I don't want to talk about this stuff. I'm just gonna talk about talk about it in a later video. Because look at Avalanche right now, like with the like with the whole introduction of it right now. Also, don't get swallowed by the Avalanche behind you. Speed down the mountain and avoid the obstacles too. Turn, use poles for speed. If you do use the poles, you slow down. Watch out for the walls and the corners of the street up there. Okay, because my because the like I don't know I think it's really in this game only is that they do like just like in the early Mario Party games this actually do show um they show the picture of the mini game but in like later Mario Party games especially in this they actually just show a video of it and stuff and I don't know if Mario Party Five or oh oh my God please 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 stop the freaking camera is a dick. I just want this mini game win it. This is so easy. Thank <laughs> God, thank God. Also, the weird pose. That's also cute. That easy. Pose. Please is a winner. Hey, she looks nice. Looking all girly and stuff. And yes, he finally got enough freaking money. Yeah. Anyone tempted to steal my money so I can literally not get, rock the star with the magic lamp? Anybody? Any jerks? Huh? 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 But yeah, I, like yesterday I kind of felt like a bit heartbroken of like, you know, actually getting broken up by this one girl, even though we were just friends and stuff, but then like she didn't want to put forward and stuff. I mean, it wasn't my choice, like, put forward, it was her stuff, and then she like rejected her and stuff. Rejected her idea of doing it. What is, what am I doing? I'm just waiting my turn. I got 20 coins finally. After like four, four to five turns not using this because of some people, and now we can. Also, that nice cute camera angle of the between two legs. No sexual way intended. No, no. Just saying. I'm just gonna get my damn star and just freaking be damn glad that I'm in first place. Do the damn hell through these damn demons. Of Mario, aka these boobs. Considering the fact that they literally just keep on stealing my money, they keep on robbing royalty. Uh, also, the next star, which probably be impossible to get, is on John! Uh, I, I literally like it during these Mario Party games where the star is literally on like the space that someone's in. And yet, they can't get it because. Yeah, they just can't, even though they're stepping on that same space and stuff. I believe this is the last Mario Party game, or it might be Mario Party 5, considering the fact that I know Mario Party 5. Um, that, like, the stars will just literally spawn to, like, on a space that someone is right now. I believe this is the last Mario Party game that does that and stuff. I don't know. Because that never happens in our Mario Party 7 or 8. I think it hap I think it can happen in Mario Party 7. And not but not in Mario Party 8. Also, John, you suck so much flipping pain in the balls. As guess what? Fortune space. The reverse looks fortune with me do with one star and me with two stars. And that can be scary very quick. Concerning the fact that this is Princess Daisy we're talking about, also I got a phone call, so my commentary and probably my reaction will be muted. Hey, mom? Oh, so I'm not going to the haircut. Right She's just on the computer. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm still here. Okay. Bye. 
Okay, so with that being muted and stuff, my reaction to that. Let's just do the damn mini game. <laughs> oh my god, like that was just a reversal of fortune. Just too just too petty to me. I don't know if that even makes a damn difference. Yeah. Also, for this actually being close to done and stuff, this party game is being like close to done and probably this video even. Um I mean like I also got my Tuesday to talk about and stuff. My Tuesday! AKA Veterans Day! AKA the more people taking a break from their war in Vietnam and all that good painful war jazz, whatever. I don't know why I even call war good. War sucks to like everybody. We shouldn't have war in the first place. But like, you know, I spent my Tuesday literally, you know, just continuing on with that Legend of Zelda slash Majora's Mask hype. And by Legend of Zelda slash Majora's Mask hype, I meant like, you know, the Majora's Mask hype for 3DS coming out spring 2015. And the Majora and the Legend of Zelda's DLC pack for Mario Kart 8. Um, speaking of that, which, it's also important to discuss about and stuff, because, like, like, for the longest time now, well, not for the longest time, well, probably for the time this week, it's been, like, a freaking war of... Did that... <laughs> wow, Wario, you? you screwed yourself so flipping hard, because I kind of like how the chump call literally just transports thy star from there. To where you were literally starting your turn at with you not even having to do it, buddy. What the hell with this game and literally spawning stars at like the same space? I mean, at least that stopped me from getting it, but oh my god, Mario. Ugh. Oh man, Putty Core can be joy sometimes in the most comicalist way possible. Uh. But I mean, once again, guys, it's been like. War of a goat. No, really. It's been like a freaking ultimate, like, it's been like an ultimate powerful goading war to actually rocking the DLC, the first DLC pack of MK8 Blind or not and stuff, because, you know, it's coming out on a Thursday and stuff. And I do have time to literally, you know, rock the video and stuff, try to edit a bit. Well, not edit it a bit, I mean, edit a lot of it. And, by the way, I'm also going to be busting out this, the first DLC pack of Mario Kart 8 on Ultimate Challenge Saturday. That's going to be, like, you know, this Saturday and stuff, for those who's actually watching this on Wednesday. And, I mean, for those who's actually, like, this is coming out, like, the day before the DLC pack also. And, I mean, like, I went to literally, and, like, okay, so for me doing this, like, blind and stuff, I would have, like, you know, Thursday to, you know, just change the video so I can edit them and stuff. And then, like, you know, during Friday and stuff, I can, like, totally edit the entire video and stuff, because I have a whole lot of editing to do with ultimate, with my next Ultimate wow. Challenge Saturday's DLC pack. Because, you know...
Alright, I am back, people. I just literally just left, let my mom into our apartment and stuff. She actually got me some Mickey D's. Can I just end this video right now? Also, once again, like, to be honest with you, this is gonna be the third party so far. Like, this is actually the third party in a row in this, like, entire playthrough. This laid-back playthrough of MP4. Do Princess Daisy run with the unstable unluckiness with her? That I didn't have a Bowser space step on. Like, no one has really stepped on them yet. And I'm actually a bit wanting to uh, purposely step on one to just show the Bowser spaces. For those who don't know. But never mind. Like, I'm just amazed I didn't step on a Bowser space. Regardless of me being unstably unlucky since I'm playing as a character aside from Yoshi. This is just, this, this is phenomenal. This is so phenomenal. Also, I know I say that I'll give you a present. Well, I kind of lie just to literally see you jump around all happy and, and lovingly. Lovingly? Wow. Really? What? But you have to beat me at a minigame to get it. So let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Um, 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 uh, never mind, I, uh, like, I actually did like your other song, Made Me. Like, what the hell? <laughs> you dare challenge me to Mystic Matchup? No, I wouldn't like to hear the rules, because I would like to explain myself. Okay. It's right here, this is going to be crazy right here. This is basically... Go Fish. Well, some of the goldfish is just that you got these three cards. You need to bust out a card right back and stuff and pick a random card from the order. So that's how it goes and stuff. That card you get revealed though. But you don't like the odd part is is that you don't know the only cards you don't know is the cards face down and stuff, and you can like literally just pick the cards that you off that you Oh you can't do that! Holy smoke, really? Oh you actually can Face up card, you actually can pick off the. Wait, what would happen if. Oh, shoot, I'm really screwing this up right now. Oh, what? Okay, that was weird. Like, I, like, I actually do know this video. I didn't know that you can't pick up the face up cards. Because you gotta pick cards that will literally match with you and stuff. And it can be a bit luck based and stuff. I think Goo got this. Violin down because you already got two in the morning. That's literally be fine. Uh, it's just that if you get three in the row, then you are, then you actually win. So actually, it might be the first like mini game that I might actually lose. It's gonna be stupid because you only got one left, and it's probably that one. Oh no! God, think it is so stupid, Boo! 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 God, the only thing I can literally eat from this mini Mickey D's because this right now is literally just so just the just the drink because I'm literally focusing on beating Goo at his own game here. Literally. I really wanted to map something and I don't really want to give it my final end for Goo to win. Yes! I need to find a fourth bot I need to find a fourth flute, and that'll just be it. Or at least a boo. No, the boo would be stupid. Dang it! Uh, at least he can't pick a new one. Just... No! Oh, that's good for me. Because he gotta give his two bottle lids away, so I'm in the clear unless I get a boot myself and I'm screwed. Oh, that was just me. That's so much strong. Come on, boot! Dang it! No. I won! I got the third flipping flute. Yeah, also, that nice flip on Daisy. It's so nice. And we're gonna get a better one once we end the game! Yeah, baby! Whoa!
Way to go, Daisy! <laughs> oh boy. But finally rocking this. Okay, now first of all, rocking this minigame right here against the Boo, and it's his own board will give us. Because he never played a game before like I did. Turn side table! Is that literally a lap? Okay, so this is Daisy's side table, but that's literally a laptop art. Whoa. Real Daisy? Real? Like, I'm actually curious now. Is that literally a laptop or what? I think. I think future Ultimate Clay will actually check that out if that's literally a laptop. I think that actually. I think that actually is. But get out, Daisy. It's a journal! A damn freaking journal! Now I make everybody freaking curious onto what Daisy thinks a lot every day. Beautiful. With her side table. Just nearly completing her room. But the true bad news to it all is that But before that actually, if you like this episode, aka this part, aka you know the final part of Boo's Haunted Pass, subscribe to my channel, big little button, like this video, watch my other videos if you can, if you like to do it, like and let me show you my other parts. Sorry that this video has been like, long off, so this is like 52 minutes over there. But the true bad news of this is that next part we deal with the ultimate thing, the ultimate jerkish board, probably the most hated board, probably to everybody even, probably. In the entire Mario Party series, this even beats the boards in Mario Party 3, by the way. A.K. Goomba's Greedy Gondola. Oh, not Gondola. What? Why that? What? What's with Gondola? Um, Goomba's Greedy Gala. Probably the most hated Mario Party board, probably, in, like, the entire series of Mario Party. Even to me. My least favorite board in the entire game. And with it being, you know, a casino map skewed up by Goomba, you know the exact reason why everybody, but even me, hate it. It's, and it's, one of its gimmicks is... Probably... I just want to punch right now. This is going to be stupid. I'm going to be screaming. <laughs> I'm gonna cry! <laughs> uh, see you guys, so why don't we do this? This is gonna suck. Clap Bombers, babe! <laughs> God, I'm trying to literally just bust out that, like, how little Wayne just busts out young Moolah baby while he's, like, a bit sick and stuff during, like, you know, only with Nicki Minaj featuring Hum, Drake, and Chris Brown. Like, that was actually a. Oh, this is gonna suck. Just see. 